Okay, so here we are. This is going to be a ride to the uh, to my barber shop in Milmhall. Also, a quick review of my helmet, the Schubert uh, C2, and my Engine Hawk 50 cal jacket. Being this bike girl, my wife has now got the the Renegade from Engine Hawk, which is not rodent it yet. It's just a quick review. I've had the helmet about two, two or three months. I've had the jacket almost a year. Now it's holding up and all the other stuff. It's been a long time since I've rid the, rid the Bonneville. That's a little bit loose, I need to do something about that one. Okay, so let's put the chin bar down. Chin bar down, box into place. Glasses, sun shield down. Sun shield could come a little further down, but it's okay. And um, right, that's just that. Okay, so. Tally ho and off we jolly well go. Alright, so Schubert C5 helmet, which is a modular helmet or a flip lid, depending on how you want to call it. They're extremely comfortable, they're very quiet. It seals nicely around my ears, so much that when I'm talking on comms to somebody, I can't actually hear my own voice. It makes me shout a little bit, which is quite funny. But that works very well. I was worried that it was going to be a little too tight, but now that it's uh, run in a little bit, the Schubert uh, is very, very comfortable. I can wear it for a very extended period of time. I wear it mostly open when I'm riding because I have a uh, BMW R1250RT and the uh, wind protection is excellent. But this is the Bonneville and all I have is just a small windscreen and it is about 10 degrees centigrade at the moment. So I'm getting the full force of the wind in my face. I'll have to drop the riser, the riser down. My only complaint about it is, is the visor is a little bit too loose on the hinge and in, uh, it tends to drop down by itself. But that's it. But as you can hear, there's a little bit of uh, wind noise coming off the windscreen because this windscreen is set for my wife, I can go, who is considerably shorter than me. Right, so also the uh, Engine Hawk 50 cal jacket which I'm wearing which I, uh, at 10 degrees is a little bit cool for this jacket I'm not wearing the liner that I, it comes with I'm just wearing the, uh, the jacket and my electric heated vest which I don't have the uh, vest on but the uh, leather jacket is extremely comfortable it keeps the, uh, the wind out most of the time when I first got it, it was very stiff, but it's broken in nicely. The only thing I will say about it is that uh, when they dyed the leather, they didn't do such a great job. And here and there, the leather is showing, as you can see there on the cuff, it's showing scuff marks very quickly. But I don't really find this a problem. But, uh, this, uh, it's, the, the, uh, it's not the prototype, but it's the one right after the prototype, so the first generation. I know they have changed uh, things slightly in the production of these things now. But the, uh, the zips on the arm are in exactly the right place. There's one zip at the back where I can loosen it around my hips. 
the uh, zip keeps the wind out, there's a vent, a vent on this side, the pockets are deep and useful, the inside pocket works, very, the Napoleon pocket works very well. I haven't fallen off of it, I don't ever intend to fall off, so I can't see how the protection of this uh, 50 cal jacket would be, but uh, it has armour in all the right places, so I imagine I'd be alright. <laughs> Being as it's 10 degrees, the uh, and I didn't put anti-fog on the coloured visor, the drop-down visor on my helmet, it was starting to mist up. I put anti-fog on my glasses, but I forgot to do it on the inside of the coloured visor. But uh, it seals really, really well, the helmet does. It's uh, definitely my favourite helmet. Uh, of course, as you can see, I, uh, I attach a, uh, a flogging camera, which is the uh, Drift Ghost 4K, and on the other side I have the Pack Torque Bolt. I know Senna makes a, a built-in uh, module for this helmet, but everybody I know, I know everyone I ride with, uh, rides with uh, Pack Torque, so. I uh, installed the pack torque bolt. I have a pack torque bolt mounting on all of my five helmets. I can swap between helmets if I wish. I'm very, very happy with the uh, Engine Hawk 50 cal jacket in black. Biker Girl is very happy with her Renegade in black from uh, Engine Hawk. The nice thing about the Renegade, it has a double row of uh, zips to do it up with so that uh, it's easy to adjust size if you want to put extra clothing on underneath. But normally it would be 15 degrees or warmer for me to wear a leather jacket. I have a richer textile jacket is which I wear most of the time. It's a little bit high visibility. And what's going on with this horse in front of us? Don't know what they're hunking about. Maybe they know me. Right, coming up to my barbers now, which is here, and I'm just going to park here.